I don't care, we could wait all day. I now call the member for Hawkesbury. Thank you, Mr Speaker. Mr Speaker, those opposite are once again wasting everybody's time pointing the finger for something they themselves practised in government. Order. Member for Lakemba, the member for Rockdale, the member for Shell Harbour. They say that they oppose— Order. Stop the clock. The member for Hawkesby will resume her seat. There are a number of members in this chamber already on two and three calls. The member for Cessnock. Yes, sir. I now call the member for Hawkesbury, who will be heard. Who will be heard in silence? Member for Swansea is on three calls. You are now. I am so tempted. Do it. The member for Hawkesbury. Thank you, Mr Speaker. Mr Speaker, those opposites say that they oppose the sale of TAFE campuses, but the Labor Party divested plenty of TAFE sites when they were in government. What short memories you have. What short memories. At several sites, uh, they sold uh, off TAFE campuses, and now, what's there? Townhouses in its place. Once again, their hip I'll get to that. I'll get to that. Once again, their hypocrisy is absolutely breathtaking. Whilst those opposite, with short memories, play games with our communities, this government remains responsive to changing student and industry needs. We purchase new sites to expand delivery where demand is increasing. And yes, sometimes sites are divested where there is no longer required for training Member delivery for or becoming underutilised. Those on this side of the house are committed to maximising community benefits from government-owned property and when it is no longer needed in New South Wales service delivery. Mr Speaker, it was Labor, you need to listen to this, it was Labor that sold campuses all over the state. And most of them were sold to private purchases. Let me refresh your memory if you've forgotten. Sites at Setsnock, private purchaser, Kudamundra, private purchaser, Moiroy, private purchaser, Charlestown, private purchaser. Yeah, you may laugh, Mona Vale, private purchaser. Shame on Labor for telling tales. Privatisation, when they were selling off the TAFE assets to every private bidder. Shame on you. While TAFEs were replaced with townhouses under Labor in the New South Wales Liberal National Government is building and upgrading sites across the state to ensure more people than ever have access to training with jobs. The New South Wales Government is committed to TAFE New South Wales as a comprehensive public provider. You know, we've invested $263.2 million in this financial year alone in capital projects for TAFE New South Wales. How quickly your memory fades. We have delivered a record budget for TAFE New South Wales. $1.967 billion in the 2020-21 budget and an increase of 5.7 per cent on the previous year. But you don't remember that, do you? The New South Wales government will continue to support TAFE New South Wales to invest in new facilities that meet student and industry needs right across New South Wales. Mr Speaker, the divestment of TAFE campuses is nothing new and has been occurring for decades, including under Labor. The difference is you had no plans, you had no vision, just a whole bunch of lies that are causing unnecessary distress in the communities that this government is providing oh, for. Members, I can't hear the member for Hawkesbury. Nothing new, but neither are these ridiculous scare tactics that are the op that's what you're opposing, that's what you're putting forward. Member for Both Labor the and the New South Wales Teachers Federation ought to be ashamed of their actions in the Upper Hunter. You have claimed Mr Speaker, they have claimed that TAFE teachers will Stop be moving— Stop the clock. The member for Hawkesbury, please resume your seat. <laughs> we'll continue when there is silence. Member for Hawkesbury.
Both Labor and the New South Wales Teachers Federation ought to be ashamed of themselves for the actions in the Upper Hunter. You have claimed that TAFE teachers will be moving to a shed facility on the campus with no amenities, no staff officers, no tea room, no technology, no paddock areas. Shame! Absolute shame on you! TAFE teachers are in Scone have access to excellent facilities at the new $6.5 million connected learning centre, which you don't like which we know is also receiving a further $3 million boost and expansion. I mean, we already had you mention it. There's the media release, if you didn't catch that, an extra $3 million on the 22nd of April that was announced. You've been telling untruths. You said, Mr Speaker, they've been telling untruths. They've said that the number two Flemington Drive site was sold under the nose of teachers and students who were reportedly told the sale video was being filmed for maintenance check purposes. Absolutely wrong. TAFE New South Wales staff were consulted on multiple points throughout October 2020, November 2020 and January 2021. So get the facts right. Mr Speaker, how dare Labor strike All fear into members. the students by claiming that they are unable to complete their TAFE courses at Stone? It's an absolute disgrace. Order before I call. Order, members.